Hello guys, welcome back to the session. Today we will solve another RPA challenge called movie search. Now the goal of this challenge is to create a workflow that will check which movie review is positive or negative. So the workflow will start by adding three movies in the list by a click on this find button or get popular movies button. So click on this get popular movies button and here we get the three movies in this list. Now we'll start the timer and for each of these movies in the list, we'll click on this button to get the reviews. Now the workflow has to decide this review, these all these reviews are positive or negative and the workflow will do so for all of these movies in the list and once done the workflow will click on this submit button. Now to identify which movie review is positive or negative we will create a workflow to do sentiment analysis and for sentiment analysis we will write a very simple and easy to understand python code and if you are new to python don't worry we will go very basic step by step so let's get started by creating a workflow so first of all we will create a python function which will be called by the automation anywhere bot to do the sentiment analysis now to do so you must have this python and pip installed in your system so if you have these two installed in your system we are good to go else i'll share these links in the description and you can install python and pip from these websites next let's open the command prompt and here we will install text blob library for processing textual data and since I have already set the path of python and pip in the environment variables, I do not need to navigate to those folders. I can write the command over here to install the text blob library. So let me write the command pip install text blob. And with this command, this text blob library will be installed. Since I have already installed this library earlier, so here it says requirement already satisfied. So we are done with the command prompt. Now let's open the and let's create a new file. So for that, let's take a new file from here and here we will define our function. So let's define our function over here as dev movie review analysis. And here we'll pass an argument as movie review. And the value of this movie review will come from automation anywhere. Next, we will import the text blob library. So for that, I will write from text blob import text blob. Next, we will pass this movie review in the text blob. So for that, let's write text blob and let's pass this argument here. And we will assign the result to a variable, say analyze. Next, we will fetch the value of polarity from this analyze variable. So what is the polarity? So the value of polarity determines the sentiment of the text and in our case the text is movie review. So the value of polarity varies from, let me write it down. So the polarity range varies from minus 1.0 to 1.0 and if the polarity value is if polarity value is less than zero, that means the sentiment is negative. If the polarity value is equal to zero, then the sentiment is neutral. And if the value of polarity is greater than zero, then the sentiment is said to be positive. So let me write the expression to fetch polarity. So here I'm going to write analyze dot sentiment dot polarity 
and we'll assign the result to a variable say p this p will hold the value of polarity now here we'll have to write an if condition to check the whether the value of polarity is positive or negative for the movie review and in our case we are going to take the neutral and positive sentiment as the positive review so here i'm going to write if the if the value of p is greater than or equal to 0 then this function is going to return positive and else if that means if the value of polarity is less than 0 in such case this function is going to return the value negative let me put the double quotes here so our function is ready this function will be called by the automation anywhere and this function is going to return the value positive or negative according to the value of polarity if the polarity value is greater than or equal to zero the function will return positive else the function will return negative so this function is ready but to check whether it's working fine or not let me write an expression here let me write a variable review and here i'm going to test it with the expression i love the movie and we will call this function so let's call this function here and uh, in the argument we'll pass this review and we'll store the result inside a variable so let's say the result variable here and we'll print the result at the end print result and we'll also print here polarity just to let you know what is the value of polarity coming after that we'll will comment this one so i'm going to write here print polarity so our code is ready let me quickly save this one let's save this in the rpa folder let's give the name as sentiment analysis and let's save this one and let's quickly run this to see how it works let's hit f5 and the execution is done now here you see i have provided the text in the review variable as i love the movie and for this expression for this text the polarity is 0 0.7 now since the value of, pol of polarity is greater than 0 the value of polarity is greater than 0 that means the sentiment is positive and according to our if condition if the value of polarity is greater than 0 return positive so here the positive got returned and stored inside the result variable and here it displayed the print result value as positive now let's change the review let's change the review as i let's say i hated the movie let's save this one and let's hit f5 to run the result and as obvious from here this review is negative i hated the movie so here the polarity is minus 0 0.9 that means polarity is less, less than 0 and it is a negative review and according to our conditions provided here the flow will move to else block since the value of polarity is not greater than 0 so in the else block it's going to return negative so it returned negative and the value negative stored inside the result variable and hence the negative got printed here so this function we are going to use in our automation anywhere bot let me comment it out this is not required this was just to test whether it's working fine or not this print for polarity is also not required so this is the complete function ready to be used by the automation anywhere bot so let's save this one and now let's move to automation anywhere to create our workflow so here i am inside control room of automation anywhere a 2019 let's build our workflow here now first of all we'll have to click on this get popular movies so for that i'm going to select this capture action from the recorder package so let me add it here 
and let's select the window from object detail. Now since the window is not present here, we'll refresh the windows once. And now here you see this RPA challenge window is present. Let's open this one and click on capture object. So we'll have to capture this object get popular movies button. So mouse hover over here and you see this object gets captured in a red box. So click on this one and it is getting recorded and our object has been captured. These are the object properties and the action we are going to do is so if you click on this action we want to do a left click. So select this action and we are done. Now once we click on this get popular movies we'll have to click on this start timer. So again let's add this capture action to click on the start timer. So again let's select the window and from the drop down let's select this RPA challenge and click on capture object. Now you see this start timer button is getting captured under this red box. So click on this and it is getting recorded. So this is our captured object and these are object properties and in the action again we want to do a left click. So select this left click action from here. Now once this timer is started we want to click on this review button one by one for each of these movies. So we'll add a loop first. Let me search for the loop action here. This is the loop action. Let me add it here. And we have three movies. So I'm going to choose the iterator as for n times and select the number of times as three. And also we'll assign the current value to the variable. So let's create a variable from here. Let's give the name of the variable as counter and this is a variable of type number. Now this counter variable will hold the value 1, 2 and 3 as the loop iterates first, second and third times respectively. Now under this loop I want to click on this button to get the reviews. So for that again I am going to take the capture action from this recorder package. So let me add this capture action here. Again let's select the window and from the drop down let's select this RPA challenge and click on capture object. And let's select this button. So you see this has been captured under red rectangular box. So let's click on this and it is getting recorded. So this is our captured object with all these object properties. Now if you notice over here this is the DOM XPath and this XPath is only specific to this first review button. Now we'll have to write the XPath, we'll have to write a generic XPath in such a way that it captures all of these review buttons one by one as the loop iterates. Now this we have already done in the session of pattern based data extraction. We did it using a counter variable inside the DOM XPath. So we'll follow the same pattern here as well. So I will inspect this element. So to do so right click over here and click on inspect. And here our aim is to create a generic XPath which is going to let me close this once. So our aim is to create a generic XPath which is going to capture all these elements one by one as the loop iterates. So again I'm going to inspect this element. So this is our required element first button which gets the review of the first movie. But to write a generic XPath I'm going to take the top level element which is this one. So I'm going to take this I'm going to build the XPath starting from this. So let me create the XPath here. So first of all I'm going to put a double slash and uh, we'll write the node as div and we are going to take the class equal to the value row. Let me put the value as row. 
now we'll use the x path axis following so let me write it here following colon and then we will take this element so this time the node is i and the class is this one so let me copy the class and here we'll write the node as i and we'll take the class equal to this value now if i take this one here if i see put control f and let's write the x path now here you see the there are six elements which are getting highlighted now the comment button is our required element but if you click on this drop down here you see this delete button is also getting highlighted which is not required so we'll do a slight modification here i'm going to write here text equal to comment comment so here i have written the comment by taking from here this is the comment we want this element we want to fetch this element we don't want to fetch this element so that's why we have write, written the x path like this now if i show you this x path in the screen let me delete this one here you see we get three elements for this x path as we have three buttons to get the reviews this is the first this is the second one and this is the third one now to make this x path as generic so that it identifies all the elements one by one in the loop what i am going to do i am going to add a counter here so here you see this one in the brackets is identifying the first element two in the brackets is identifying the second element and three in the bracket is identifying the third element so here we will add a variable which will be the counter variable now we have already created this counter variable here in the loop we have already created this counter variable here but since the x path will take a string variable so we'll convert the value from this number variable to string variable so to do so i'm going to use this to string action from the number package so let me add this to string here and the number let's hit f2 and select this counter variable and then we'll assign the output to a string variable so create a string variable from here let's give the name as counter underscore string which is a variable of type string so here inside this x path i'm going to use this counter string variable and this is a generic x path which will capture each of the review button element one by one as the loop iterates so i'm going to use this x path under this capture action so let me move to object properties and expand all the object properties from here now here this html tag as i is fine and uh, this dom x path let's delete this already existing the dom x path and let's paste the x path which we just created next this html has frame property is not required let's uncheck this one and this path is also not required so our object properties is ready now these all are the object properties which are required let's select the action from here as left click we want to left click on the object so this capture action is ready next once this button is clicked we get the reviews of a specific movie we get five reviews of a specific movie so we'll have to capture each of these reviews one by one so for that also i'm going to add a loop action here so i'm going to add the loop action inside this loop and uh, since we have five reviews for each of the movies here so here i'm going to take the iterator as for n times and number of times as five now here you can also use the while with the condition element exist which we used in the pattern based data extraction but as of now we can go with for n times iterator with number of times as five 
now here let's create the variable which is going to assign current value to a variable so create a variable from here let's give the name as counter review of type number next we will capture this review so for that we'll use this capture action again so from the recorder let's add this capture action and again let's select the window and from the drop down let's select this rpa challenge and click on capture object and you see this review is getting captured under the red box so let's click on this and it is getting recorded and our object got captured now for the reviews also we'll have to write the x path we have to write the dom x path in such a way that all the reviews gets captured with a single generic x path as the loop iterates so right click over here and inspect the element to create a generic x path so this denotes our uh, review element but to create a generic x path we will capture the top level element so i'm going to write the x path starting from this div section so let me copy this class from here and uh, let me write the x path so i'm going to write double slash div as a node and let me write the class equal to the value which i copied then i'm going to use the following x path axis and our required element has the node p so let me write a p here so let me copy this x path from here and let's search it here whether it works or not so control f and provide the x path expression now you see the five elements are getting highlighted by this x path as there are five reviews in this movie so this is the first element which, which gets highlighted the second element gets highlighted third fourth and fifth so we'll have to make this x path as generic and for that we know what to do we'll have to write a counter variable here so i'm going to create a string variable so as of now we already created this counter reviewed as a number variable we'll have to convert it into string so i'm going to use this two string action from the number package so let me add this two string here and in the enter uh, number hit f2 and select this counter review let's click on yes insert and here we'll create a string variable so create a variable let's give the name as review string which is a variable of type string and this variable we will use in our x path here so let's copy this x path and we will use in our action here in the capture action so if you move to the object properties let me expand all the object properties html tag as p is correct this dom x path let's delete this x path and let's provide our x path which we created next this html hash frame is not required and this path is also not required so let's remove this one and every other property looks good so let me collapse this and these all are the object properties next we'll have to select the action now this time we'll have to select the action as to capture this review now this review is present inside a html property that is html inner text so what action will have to select will have to select the action as get property and what property want to select so we want to select the property as html inner text and the value we will assign it to a variable now this value variable which we will create here will hold the value of review one by one as the loop iterates so here let's create a variable let's give the name as movie review and let's click on create and select so we have captured the movie reviews for all the movies according to the loop which we provided here let me add a message box here to show you 
how it is getting captured, how the reviews are getting captured. So hit F2 and select this movie review variable which we just created. And let's check this box, close the message box after one second. Let's save this one. We'll run this bot once to check whether the reviews are getting captured or not. And after that, we are going to add our Python function, which we have created in the very beginning of the session. So first, let me refresh this page. Let's close this one and let's click on movie search and we are good to run this bot. So let's hit run. And now it's going to click on get popular movies. So it clicked on the movie and now it started the timer and now it's going to display the reviews. So here we got an error. So let's see what error we received. So we received error at line number five and it says unable to find label search criteria did not match. So let's close this one and let's move to line number five and it would be here. So let me check. So control type is level and let me check the DOM X path. So this counter string is a variable, but we provided it as a text value. So here we'll have to convert it into variable. So let's delete this one and F2. And from here, let's select this. Let's select this counter string as a variable. And it got added here and let's close the brackets. Now in a similar way, we have to change here also in this capture. So if you move to object properties here, so we have not provided it as a variable, this counter review string. So let me delete this one. And hit F2 and from this drop down, let's select this counter review string variable. Let's click on yes insert and close the brackets. Let's save this one and reset this page. Let's move to movie search and let's run this project one more time to see how it works. And my project is running now. So again, it was going to click on get popular movies button and it clicked on get popular movies started the timer and now it is fetching the reviews from the first movie. So this is the first message, second message, third, fourth message and the fifth message. Now here you notice it is displaying the message from the first movie itself. It should go to the second movie and it should display the reviews from the second movie. So this is the thing which I wanted to show you. Many of you have asked me between the differences of left click and only click. So let me show you what we'll have to modify so that this movie, uh, this review button gets clicked. So let's move to automation anywhere. And here in the capture, if you notice, so in this capture to click on this button here, if you notice, we have taken the action as left click. That's why the next and the second and the third uh, review button is not. now to now to make those buttons get clicked. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the action as click. So when I click, when I select this click action, what will happen? when the first review will be over when let me click on this so when all the reviews from the first movie will be over then the workflow is going to automatically click on this second uh, review button so this time it should completely work let me run it one more time and let's quickly run this bot and my project is running now. So it clicked on get popular movies and clicked on the timer. Now it's going to fetch the reviews from the first movie. So it is displaying the reviews from the first movie. And then it opened the reviews from the second movie. You can see from the screen and it is displaying the reviews. 
and now it is displaying the reviews from the third movie so you see using this click action click taking the click activity it is fetching the reviews properly from all the movies so now after this point we are good to add our python function which is going to do the sentiment analysis which is going to say whether the review is positive or negative the python function which we created will decide whether this review is positive or negative if the review is positive the workflow should click on the positive button and if the review is negative the workflow should keep you know, should click on the negative button so let's see what all actions we need to add here so first of all i am going to search for the python package and here this is the python script package the first of all we'll have to use this open action which we will use before the loop it should be used only one time let's take the python session as default and let's provide the path of this python file which we created let me open the python file and this is the python file which we created let me open this one so here in the automation anywhere script we will provide the path of this file so let's move over here let's select this text of file and click on browse and select our python file so let's click on open next after this open action we will use this execute function action under the python script package after this capture action inside the inner loop so this capture action captures the movie reviews one by one inside the loop and stores it inside this m review variable so for this variable the reviews which are stored inside this variable for those we need to do the sentiment analysis for which we will use the execute function so let me add this action here execute function and let's see the details here so python session we will take as default since inside this open action we have taken the default session name so the session name will be default the session name will be default and here will provide the inter and here will provide the name of the function to be executed so the function which we have created has the name movie review analysis so let's provide this function name inside our bot next we'll have to provide the argument to the function now this function we have created which accepts the argument as movie review so here the movie reviews are stored inside this m review variable so here we will pass this m review variable as argument so let's select this one and the result will be assigned to a variable the result which we will get from this function so if the polarity is greater than equal to 0 this function returns positive else this function returns negative so this positive or negative result we will store inside a variable so create a variable from here let's give the name as sentiment analysis result that is as a result a variable of type string so by this action by this execute function action we get the value of as a result as positive or negative as positive or negative as result returned by this function according to the value of polarity so we will check if the value of uh, this as a result is positive if the value of as a result is positive we will click on this positive button and if the value of as a result variable is negative we'll click on this negative button so to do so we'll have to add the if action so let me add the if action here let's add the if action and here we'll provide a string condition so this is the string condition let's take the source value as let's take the source value as as a result now if the value of as a result is equal to positive let me take this 
complete term from here if the value is positive we can uncheck this match case we do not require to match the case so if the value of essay result is equal to positive then we want to click on this positive button so for that again we'll use the capture action to click on the button so from the recorder let me add the capture action and let's select the window and from the drop down let's select this rpa challenge and click on capture object so this button has been captured under red box so click on that and it has been captured now if you look at the object properties here html tag as a now here we'll have to change the dom x path we'll have to make the generic x path so that every positive button can be inspected so for that we'll inspect this positive element positive button element and let's write the generic x path for this uh, positive button so to write the generic x path again i'm going to take the top level element so i'm going to take this one as the top level element so let me take this class and let's write the x path here so it will begin with a double slash and the uh, node is div here and we'll take the tag as class equal to the value which i have taken then double slash and take the x path axis as following put colon and this was our uh, element this uh, this expression identifies our element so i'm going to take this positive text and the tag is a so here i'm going to provide a and text equal to positive so if i show you this x path do hit control f and provide the x path so here you see the five elements has been identified by this x path since we have five positive buttons inside this window so we will take this x path we will take this x path with the counter variable counter review string variable which we used earlier too and put dollar symbol to use this as a variable so let me copy this one and i will provide it here so remove the already existing and provide here now if you scroll a bit down to see other properties this this html has frame is not required inner text as positive is fine let's uncheck this path as well and everything looks good so these all are the object properties next we'll have to select the action we want to click on the positive button so select this click button and all done now we'll add one more if condition to check the essay result equal to negative so let me add another if action from here and here also we'll take the string condition and hit f2 and from here let's select the essay result variable and here the condition will be if essay result is equal to negative that means the polarity is less than 0 if the value is negative uncheck this box then we want to click on the negative button so for that let's capture capture action me add this capture me add this capture action here let's select the window and from the drop down let's select this rpa challenge and now we will capture this negative button so capture object and capture this negative button this has been captured under red box so the object has been captured and here also we'll change this dom x path so the dom x path for negative uh, button also will be very similar to the positive one the only thing which we need to do is to take the text here negative so let me show it 
to you so if you inspect this negative button and hit control F to test this X bar so here you see again the five elements are getting highlighted since we have five buttons five negative buttons inside this window so first second third fourth and fifth so we will use this X path to capture the negative button so let me change the X path here and let's see the other properties so this is not required HTML inner text is fine this path is also not required and other properties looks good next we'll take the action as click and everything is done so we can disable this message box it is not required so we are done with all the actions required inside the loop at the end what we need to do we'll have to close this window and we'll have to click on the submit button so for that again I am going to take the capture action and select the window from the drop down select this RPA challenge capture object and select this element so the element has been captured and the action which we want to perform is to click so let's select the action as click next we will add one more capture action to this next capture action is going to let me click on start timer so the next capture action is going to click on the submit button so let me uh, capture the submit button so select this RPA challenge and let me click on capture object so this button has been surrounded by red box so let's click on that and it is getting captured and it is done and the action which we want to perform is to click on the submit button so let's select this click from here now one last action which we need to add is to close the Python script so I will move again to the Python package so under this Python script package so we opened we use this open action and execute function action at the end we'll have to use the close action as well so let me add this close action here and the session name will will keep as default so our project is ready now let me save this one and let's quickly recap what all project what all our project will do so our project starts by clicking on this get popular movies you can also add the launch action to launch this URL so I will begin by click on get popular movies click on this and then click on start timer and then open the Python script using this open action then the loop is iterated for three times since three movies are listed and then we will capture this review button one by one to get all the movie reviews next the inner loop will be executed for five times since we have five reviews inside every movie now inside this loop we will capture the movie reviews one by one and store them inside m review variable next we will execute the function in the python which we created with this function name and we'll pass the argument as m review variable which we get from this capture action so we'll pass this argument and the function will be executed and it will return the value positive or negative according to the polarity next the result of the function will be stored inside as a result variable now if the value of as a result is equal to positive then the workflow will click on the positive button and if the value of as a result is negative then the workflow will click on the negative button 
so the loop will do all these actions and once the loop is over at the end this cross button will be clicked and this submit button will be clicked and by the python script will also be closed so we'll quickly run this one to see how it works i'm going to reset this page so if i refresh like this it does not refresh so what i do i move to rpa challenge and then i move to movie search so this has been reset and i will also close this file and let's quickly run our project So here you see our workflow got executed our workflow did the sentiment analysis for the movie reviews and the success rate is 80% So let's move to automation anywhere and let's close this one So in this way we can do sentiment analysis using the python scripts and in this way we can integrate our python script in the automation anywhere bots Now the sentiment analysis code which we did in the python was the very basic one we can enhance our python script to do the sentiment analysis better and that's all for this session guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give it a like and share with your friends hit the bell button to get the updates on the latest videos if you have not yet subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel as well and i'll see you soon in the next one bye bye